Hello everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer and I purchased this wagon off of Amazon with my own money. So disclaimer, I'm making this review to let everyone know in the last eight days of having this wagon, this wagon has shown some very inconsistencies and some problems. So I wanted to share my experience with the wagon. Now I think it's still a great wagon but there's some things that should have have been approved or made better. So with that said everyone, I'm not promoting Amazon, I'm not sponsored by Amazon, I'm not sponsored by the, by the, by the wagon itself because this wagon can come in many many brand names. But this wagon claimed to support 350 US pounds which is about between 68 and 72 kilograms of weight. Now, I weighed about 151 U.S. pounds, or exactly, uh, but I just want to emphasize why this wagon has pretty bad flaws. So, let me show you. Let's go first start off with the handle. The handle is made out of a very cheap, unfinished plastic. As you can see, very unfinished, and what happened, it caused blisters in my hands. Right there, if you can see it, the two spots. Yeah, that's not very good to cause blisters. All right, here is another problem, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to feature. Okay, the handle and this. It's not gonna last very long. It, it's not built to last. With a cheap handle like this, it's not gonna last very long. And it doesn't feel very great to pull in the hand. This can cause a lot of stress on your back, your arms, and your body over time. Especially if you're adding up to 250 pounds worth of weight, you literally are gonna cause some some strain on your body. I wish they had a better pull system for this wagon. Now here's another issue that I'm having with just the wagon itself. The material is starting to stretch as you can see. Look at this at the corner of this. This is just holding the water thermal and it's already stretching. I want everyone to see the stretching part. As you can see it just stretches. And you can see it's stretching on this corner here as well. On this corner, on all four corners, by the way. Yeah, that is the issue. Now, let's focus on the wheels, shall we? Let me just score you down here. One, this is made out of the PU material, not rubber. And as you can see, when they get wet, they get soft which makes it difficult to pull down the street or a sidewalk. Not only that, rocks, glass, will literally cut through this material, which will cause you to have some holes inside the wheels, which, or puncture holes, which we have demonstrated in another video before. Because as you can see, this one on this tire, let me just score you over this tire. And this one, you can see there's a puncture hole here. There's a few big ones over here. And when you take these out or with water, get inside of the wheel, it just makes, it just makes a mess of things. And the experience is not that great. But I also want to talk about the bolts they use. As you can see, there's rust. And we've just been pushing this in the wet sidewalks or the streets. And I had to fix the wagon. As you can see, I got JP Well on all four, uh, all four columns. And if you take this out, you can see that I had to JB Well this column because this came off. So that was an issue. Well, welding, welding job that they did was poor. So I had to weld it back. And here's another problem. This back wheel, wait, 
turns when it's not supposed to turn. But it turns. It goes left and right. I don't know why, but I'm going to demonstrate that. It's not supposed to, but you see how it just turns? You see? Pretty bad, everybody. So, with that said, I just wanted to share my experience with the wagon so everyone knows that the back wheels are not supposed to turn. Why? Because this bolt is supposed to keep it in place, but it doesn't. Because, as you can see, that bolt just moves and it comes out very easily. So I have to crazy glue it back or weld it back so it doesn't come out. Because it can only go to a certain length. And if we were to take out... Where's my other screwdriver? Look at the boat they're using. This is supposed to, wait. This is supposed to hold this and the wheel in place. That small boat, this can break easy. This is not even steel. So that's a problem with this wagon, everyone. So for order me to make this right or do a temporary repair, repair I have to use crazy glue to fix the, the issue. So what I'm going to do is put some glue here inside, twist that in a little bit, put some glue on this bolt, put some more glue here. And hopefully that would temporary work for the moment. So if you have this problem with the wagon, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you do. So with that said, everyone, just wanted to emphasize why this wagon has been a problem for a lot of people. And I'm sorry, I'm on the gimbal right now. And it's not balancing correctly. There we go. But with that said, everyone, my experience for the last eight days with this wagon has been, it's a 2.5 because it's supposed to support 350 pounds and I only have 171 pounds and the fabric is ripping, which just defeats the purpose. The wheels are not that great. They get very soft when it rains. Not only that, they get puncture holes easy with this glass or rocks or pebbles on the streets. So be very, very extremely careful. Uh, the handle is not that great, everyone. It just feels just cheap, not very thought of. Uh, to spend $200 or close to $200 on a wagon like this, it's, it's unacceptable. It has great features and all. It has a great lookout and everything, and, it, and, and looks like it can hold up to a lot, but if if it can't, if the wheels cannot handle the load and they deflate based on the weight, then the wheels and the wagon itself and the wheels defeat the purpose. So with that said everyone, this is my video assessment uh, on this particular wagon. And I do apologize for the gimbal. My gimbal has been acting up again, does it from time to time. But please do subscribe, like, and share. You like this video. You think I, I solve your answers or you, you think that this review is better than most. Please do feel the chance to leave a comment down below. But be careful about what wagons you buy on Amazon. Now, I'm supposed to be picking up a new wagon today. You see, it's the same one. It's the exact same one. So what we're going to do is give that one a try. And if that one doesn't work, we just send that one back. I'm pretty sure one. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact same one. I just want to compare it and show you guys. It's the exact same one. They just the market material for these things on Amazon is just a lie and, and miscons. It's misleading to some consumers. So with that said, everyone, 
If you want to support this channel, please do support the channel. I appreciate it. But the links are down in my descriptions below. You go to my website mm -hmm. to get my photography, stuff like that. But with that said, eat, sleep, photography, review, and repeat. Talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.